It's Monday, which means it's time for another installment of the Harmony News, and it's a monthly update this time as we take a look back at what happened in March. And I think it's fair to say that there aren't many of us who are going to be forgetting March 2020 for a long time. Now, it's not really my place to talk about the coronavirus, but wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I hope you're safe. As far as the Harmony team is concerned, we have been working from home for some time now. And while that makes things a little more difficult and it's harder to sync up, really, we were a decentralized team anyway, and now we are fully decentralized. And so it's almost business as usual. All that being said, let's take a look at what's actually been happening in Harmony this month. Now, on the engineering front, the staking logic is now scalable to 1,000 plus validators and 100,000 delegations, and this allows us to handle large staking volume as we scale. Very, very important that we're able to handle the throughput, not just of the transactions going through the network, but also of all the different staking logic going on as well. We've also shipped multi-BLS key support. Now, if you don't know what BLS key means, we are actually going to be doing a series on the BLS key and what it's all about because it's a key piece of the protocol. And one benefit of this is it allows us to reduce our infrastructure costs by 60%. Now, if you're running a node or you're a validator and you're running up cloud computing costs, you will know just how painful that can be. So anything that reduces the cost allows you to be more efficient while running a node, definitely a good thing. So that's some of the engineering highlights. Now, on the business side of things, we have a new website. It refocuses everything on staking, staking being a huge piece of the protocol moving forward, and of course the people behind it. Our validators are hugely important because they're the people that make the protocol function. Making those people seem more rounded, more three-dimensional, giving you an insight to who they are and what they're about, has been the role of the validator spotlights, and so we've been rolling these out as kind of postcards in the last couple of weeks or so, just to give you an idea of who's actually validating and who they are. The Staking Explorer has been continually updated throughout the month, adding more features and of course getting it out to PEOPS and the extended community for their feedback. Already over the last couple of weeks, just from the input of Matt and of course the extended community, there's a lot of new items and a new statistics that are going in there, including global view section and annual return rates, which have been added to other critical network level stats. March was also another month of great partnerships, and we saw the first decentralized exchange, Vitex, for Harmony. Suta Russo announced a privacy layer to be built on top of Harmony. We also had a lot of new staking partners, the likes of Moonstake and Binary Star from Japan, Sesame Seed, Wetez from China, and Everstake, and many, many more. Staking is really just kind of preoccupying the whole team at the moment. Everybody's hustling as hard as they can on it. From the coding side, it's just constant testing on Pangea, constant network updates. And if you follow the likes of Edgar or Seb or RJ or Leo, you'll get a kind of a sense of just how much code is being pushed at the moment. And of course, the PEOPS team, if you don't know who they are, get yourself into the Pangea Volunteers Telegram group and have a look and see what's going on with the likes of Big Crypto King, JB, Yonut, and Soph. All these guys, they're just rock stars. They're working like 20 hours a day just to help out. So if you feel like running a node or just trying to understand what it means to run a node and you're thinking that you might want to set yourself up as a delegator when open staking launches, then Pangea is the place to do it. So I just want to give a big shout out to the PEOPS team because those guys are awesome, genuinely awesome. And I don't know if people give them enough credit for what they're doing. They are invaluable. So thank you guys. So the staking timeline, well, we've been working through phases one and two, and we finished the testing on that now. And we're getting ready to launch the third phase of testing, which is where we basically open out the protocol to anyone who wants to look for vulnerabilities, to pick up some bug bounties, and of course, just try and hack it and break it. Other big highlights that are coming up, the new economic model is coming. And this is something that Nick has been working on. So the new economic model is established on three core principles, which is higher stake ratio, simplicity, and the path to zero issuance. Now, we'll be going into all of these specific components in a future series of films, hopefully coming out this week. That was the plan anyway. And I'm looking forward to being able to put those films out and really explain what's going on here. Now, from my own side, as you probably noticed, we've been putting out a lot of video content the last couple of weeks. And somebody on YouTube posted a comment and said, why are you doing this? Open staking hasn't even launched yet. There's no need, why bother? And the answer is, it's actually very, very simple, but I'm gonna let someone else do the talking for me. 
If I ran a Nintendo today, I'd probably put out 5,000 pieces of creative content starring Zelda and Mario and build up the IP and make sure all those characters and all those visions would be winning on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. I would just produce at scale. This has now become singularly a making game. Make, 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 make. And if there's one idea that's been brought up in the month of March, it's this notion of trust. We have a really hard time knowing who to trust these days. One of Harmony's goals is to scale trust. I don't know if we can ever rebuild it the way it used to be, but hopefully through blockchain and through decentralized protocols, we can get to a place where trust isn't really needed. And the hard thing is right now, sentiment is at an all-time low. We understand this, we know this. And I wanted to just pick out a quote from Yuri Bezmenov, talking about attempting to reason with demoralized people. He says, they're contaminated. They're programmed to think and react to certain stimuli in a certain pattern. You cannot change their minds, even if you expose them to authentic information. Even if you prove that white is white and black is black, you still cannot change the basic perception and the logic of behavior. In other words, these people, the process of demoralization is complete and irreversible. The process of demoralization. People have lost all faith. And we've just been attacked and beaten down by so many pieces of bad news that it's hard to see the positive shoots anymore. The only thing I can offer you in, in regards to Harmony is this. You can see the progress on GitHub. You can see what we're building. You can see that the protocol actually works. If you look at who's built a sharded proof of stake blockchain right now, there's only one name on the list and that's us. We were first, we're fast, and we're cheap. Now I hope that you can lock onto that as something to keep your morale going. But we also need our community to not lose faith in us, to not see market dynamics and assume that that is reflective of the success of the protocol itself. This is bleeding edge technology. Nobody's ever solved these problems before. So it's gonna be hard, but we are doing it and we have delivered a mainnet that functions already. So much further we can go. But I'll leave you on that note. Don't be demoralized. Don't be like those guys. There's still hope. It's not irreversible. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.